Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one from RLJ Entertainment, aka Image Entertainment, and it is Wolf Cop. Uh, this one uh, definitely uh, piqued my attention just due to the title and due to the plot. Werewolf Cop, uh, kind of a, you know, at least the title and maybe the general plot would be a throwback to stuff like Psycho Cop and Maniac Cop, which were uh, pretty, uh, you know, uh, semi big titles in the 80s and stuff that just kind of was almost really uh, ridiculous at points, but also awesome in a lot of other ways. Uh, but Wolf Cop, uh, I popped it in and I started watching it and I saw that it was 79 minutes and the establishing movie started opening up. We have this drunk cop who clearly is going to be the one who turns it to the Wolf Cop, the werewolf cop. And uh, it's setting up with this this kind of a ridiculous town where there's just lots of small crime and everyone is, you know, just character types almost like uh, kind of like it almost is like a smaller played down version of hobo with a shotgun how that town was just so ridiculous scum town and was just nasty crawling with filth and sleaze not as bad as that but you kind of get that impression that this is an over-the-top ridiculous town <clears throat> As the film progresses, uh, it doesn't take too long to get started. The first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, he's already been kind of turned into or been starting to transform into Wolf Cop due to this satanic cult. Uh, see, this is where the film kind of had trouble for me. Well, for me, it, it just it kind of lost me a little bit. Uh, the film, you know, uh, a title called Wolf Cop, uh, in most films I would appreciate another storyline going on, not just your typical slasher, but in a lot of ways you don't need that much when you have a wolf cop. You know, you really just want to see uh, a werewolf fight some really fun baddies and things like that and maybe make it, uh, maybe almost make it uh, a couple bad guys. Almost just, I would have been happy with RoboCop with a werewolf instead, but I guess that's just kind of asking for too much or just asking for something that probably shouldn't exist in the first place, to be honest. Just a remake with a different kind of a... Uh, super entity in it but regardless uh the film kind of and unfolds like a mystery which it would be refreshing in a lot of ways that they decide to take this uh kind of plot but for me it almost seemed like it was a script that didn't have a werewolf cop in it and then they were just like we have this script we have this great idea of a werewolf cop let's toss him in the mix I, it's probably not true but it came off that way to me and uh a lot of the storyline uh it didn't it didn't really catch me it was about this cult and uh I don't want to give too much away, but uh, there's a lot more than just a wolf cop going on here. And it, it, at points, it plays to the, it kind of, uh, they focus way too much on that. The scenes, the special effects in the movie are top notch. Uh, the gore is top notch. There is a couple fun moments in here. Uh, there's the sex scenes with wolf cop, which is actually pretty hilarious. And, and it's played for last for sure, and the way it is done. But, uh, you know, I guess it comes down to it. Uh, the characters really didn't interest me. Uh, they're kind of generic and kind of character types in a way, but uh, like I said, that wouldn't be a problem if there was a lot of wolf cop action, just the uh, wolf cop doing all sorts of crazy things like that. And, and it's in there a little bit, but I just wish it would have been more fleshed out with action and things like that. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of something like uh, Friday the 13th Part 8, where Jason takes Manhattan, where you could have had Jason do all these different things, but instead it, it just kind of turns into the typical stalking slasher thing like that. And instead of this, it, it, it's kind of, he's almost just doing what a good cop would do in a, a supernatural situation in a lot of ways uh, towards the towards the supernatural situation. Of course, he is a, like a, a, a down, he's a, he's a terrible cop at first, and of course, becoming a werewolf actually makes him a better cop, which is kind of, I guess, I guess you'd say it's ironic. Is that the word I'm looking for? But regardless, uh, I feel that it felt, it felt kind of short, and it just becomes average, because something like this, the, the title, it almost seemed too good to be true. Like, it screams at me, like, I'm going to love this movie. And right then, you're kind of, I'm kind of like, ah. Uh, and and it, it, it didn't really work for me. I, I must admit, I did watch it on an online screener, and some people believe that that will completely destroy your viewing ex uh, experience. And sometimes it can. Sometimes certain movies, you know, big films or films that have the amazing cinematography can be dumbed down a little bit. But something like Wolf Cop, I don't believe, would be uh, that hurt by it. Maybe this film could be uh, enjoyed more in a crowd of people, with a group of people. Could be a lot of fun. But uh, as it stands, I think it's a, it's a mid-tier movie. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's awful at all. I mean, it, it's worth watching, and if it piques your curiosity, you'll probably want to check it out. Uh, the special effects are really fun. The, con the, the general concept should be a blast, but uh, I, it lost me with the storyline, which usually would have caught me, would have uh, intrigued me even more. Like, uh, you know, like it's saying, like, this movie's just, like, a movie will be an exploitation movie, but it will go further, like, Men Behind the Sun. It's like, no, this is an art drama. I mean, like, an art, like, a war drama as well, or something like Cannibal Holocaust. Like, there's a good message in here, but you call it exploitation. This one's like, this is just a cheesy, self-aware wolf cop movie. But no, there's another story to it. And I just didn't actually care for the story, uh, I thought. It, and then the, the twist, I was like... 
you establish all these characters just to basically erase them. But uh, that's uh, my review for Wolf Cop. There'll be a trailer at the end. Uh, some people will like it. Some people will get a kick out of it. Uh, I think it's okay. I think that uh, I'll be looking for the director's uh, work in the future because most of the stuff was practical effects and stuff like that. And I did enjoy it. And like I said, this movie had a lot of potential. Uh, I don't think it's horrible. And I think that some people will dig it. I probably just had too uh, high of expectations. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. Is it almost time? It's like a face. It kind of looks like you. Ooh, got to stop over at the brewery. Do some investigating. I think I'm myself when I'm a wolf. You did seem like freakishly strong. You had those claws and those teeth. Plus, you know, you were drunk, so I knew it was you. Hello? Hello? My. What big teeth you have. Hmm. That's not all. Oh, oh! Tell him what you told me. He was a big wolf cop. Lou, you're a wolf.